line. Bobcats in. Wrist shot. Glove save. Greenfield as Wood fired that one on goal from the left circle. Messenger stopped up at the top of the crease. And the whistle goes there. And we have a stoppage in play as Kyler Hope now gets in the middle. DBN over there as well. Graydon Smith has been in the face of the Warriors a little early on in this one as well. Out there now. Bobcat trying to come away with speed. DBN with a poke check. Maneer's in. Right side. Maneer. Pass in front. Rebound. DBN. He scores! Jonathan DBN and the Warriors have a 1-0 lead. And any ill effects that DBN may have from last night is unbelievable. Just a great play there, Kyler Hope. He knocked that puck away. Maneer went, went down on that right side, threw it on goal, and the Warriors take the one nothing lead. Run was knocked to the ice. Here's a pass the other way, working it in, taken down, and a save by Greenfield. But a tripping call coming to West Kelowna as Smythe had the chance in tight. Was tipped away, and now Forster has to back up defensively. Here on the side is Spriggs, dumped in on goal. Greenfield will grab it, and Spriggs runs onto the goaltender. Forster will take his hand off him, but Matthew Greenfield's on the bottom of the pile. As do the Bobcats, comes loose, out front, Lloyd, oh, what a stop by Greenfield. Matthew Greenfield robs Lloyd and keeps it a one nothing game. And what a stop there as the Warriors in their defensive zone. Dara to the net. Greenfield saves. And loose puck there at the side. Banging away. And Kyler Hope won't like that. As now DBN is nose to nose with his man as well. But uh, Greenfield has that puck covered. Spriggs just kept going. He was the one that got warned a couple minutes ago for his contact on the goaltender Greenfield. Set off for Rattigliano, working it down into the corner, was knocked down, and back come the Bobcats. Here to center, pass through the middle for Giroux. Bounces off his stick as Forster protects Giroux in the corner. Giroux gets away from him, tries to spin back. Allen will shove his man, pokes it up the wall. Ben Shadle shot, side of the net, pucks high, and Mulder will knock it in with a high stick. As he whacked that one real good out of the air, but well above the crossbar. And no complaints whatsoever from the Bobcats. And maybe a good thing. You know, trying to get their form and intercept. Out front, backhander through the crease. Nobody there on the other side. Forster to Basilico. Ryan Basilico trying to get it to the point. Didn't work. And now the Bobcats are out to center. Two on one. Here's Dara. Dara in. Shot stopped by Greenfield. And Dara tries to knock Harrison on top of the goaltender. And I think the Warriors are going to take the only penalty. Straight forward and now in strip of the puck. And back come the Bobcats. Here's Bald on the right side. Stopping up in the zone. Blumenshine watches him as the puck poked away. And now on the sideboards. Walking down is Quillen. Back to the point. Now across. Quillen sends it up top. Tries to find it. Shot stopped by Greenfield as Bald was in front is actually Dara at the top of the left circle switches places DBN cutting to the middle shot blocker save Kyler Hope bangs it towards the net LeBron tried to get there but the puck was covered by the goaltender LeClaire after they waved off that Kyler Hope had not knocked the puck down with a high stay Gunville on the back check here's a wrist shot knocked down Lloyd shot wide and all the way back and now Forster racing in trying to get to the puck Here's Foreman to the net. Forster gets it, chips it out. Gunville shot, scores! Reed Gunville has the Warriors up two to nothing. And what a play from West Kelowna. As they made their way in, a great job by Forster 
and he set it up here to the top. And West Colonna's Reed Gunville buries it at 629. And just against the flow of play again, the Warriors do it, and a great job there by Forster. Can't get a pass out front. Now he chops it back to the line. He's hammered and he's awkward. And he is down, but he looks to be all right. And it'll be a boarding penalty against the Bobcats. And the Warriors will head to the power play for the fourth time tonight at 15.36. On this one, Pernitsky. Forster knocked down, pucks loose, knocked to the crease. Greenfield the save, and he'll hold on for a whistle. And a stoppage in play with a minute and 48 seconds to go in period number two. 6.6 .6 seconds to go. And there's a high sticking penalty coming. And it's going against West Kelowna. Or is it going against the Bobcats? I think it's a Lloyd Minster penalty. It is a Lloyd Minster penalty as Taylor Mulder will get called the third in a row at 1955 as Mulder heads to the box for high sticking. And West Kelowna has six seconds. As the Warriors need to set it up, they'll talk about it. There's not much time. Here's Blackburn against Smythe. Step one, pucks over the stick of Harrison though. Warriors won't be able to get anything going, but they will start the third on the power play as West Kelowna has a two nothing lead after 40 minutes here in this one. As they have taken the edge and Maybe again a little bit lucky, but probably deserving the way the Warriors bounced back, I thought, in that period. And they definitely looked a lot better uh, at times. Still outshot by a few, but uh, that's going to happen. National Junior A hockey champion here in Lloyd Minster, as it'll be the Warriors. And the Bobcats getting set for this final period for the Bobcats. Goes the other way, bounces around. Harrison throws it on goal. Steered aside by LeClaire. Pernitsky to Spriggs. He sends it off the boards and out to center. Draw, one bound here by Blumenshine. Chips it up the boards. Sodergren will send it out to center ice. Hammered in on Greenfield. He'll glove it down and leave it for Blumenshine. Christian Blumenshine sends it up the wall. Comes out to center but it's controlled by the Bobcats. Here's Mulder, right wing side and in. Mulder, wrist shot, Greenfield saves, big rebound. He'll dive on it. They're gonna jam at it, poke it free. Now there's gonna be a mess. Mulder is feeding shots underneath the linesman here. And I don't know who's going. It's probably Basilico and not the Bobcat player because that puck was frozen by Greenfield. And drilled out of there by Mulder. But the Warriors take the only penalty on that play at 8.53. The penalty to Basilico is half over. Smith will slowly start it up as the Bobcats will change. Puck forward for Messenger in over the line. He will poke it down, pass in front, tipped wide of the goal by Spriggs. Here's Messenger, back near the point. Marino almost got a stick on it. Here's Dara, puck up the wall. Marino hammers it out to center, trying to beat Spriggs and can't get it. Now he'll send it in. Blackburn will go after the puck. Blackburn, shot, scores! Liam Blackburn and the Warriors lead three to nothing on a misplay in the Lloyd Minster end. A short handed goal from Liam Blackburn and the Warriors have a 3-0 lead.
And I didn't exactly see what happened. The defenseman tried to poke it away and Blackburn knocked it off his stick. We've seen that one once before against the Silverbacks. Way back in the first round, Blackburn tucked one between the legs of Angus Redmond. In over the line, here's a backhander by Van Teetering. Stopped by Greenfield. Warriors send a rolling puck, and that's going to do it. The Warriors hit the empty net as Ryland Yeremko has scored it, and the Warriors have a 4 nothing lead. And what a play there from Yeremko at 17-24. And the Warriors are up 4 nothing with 2.36 remaining. Face off to the left of Greenfield coming up here now. As Brett Manier will take the draw, Forster and Foreman out there with Anderson and Yuremko. Rylan Yuremko to the corner, chips it off the glass, gets to the line. Pernitsky knocks it down, goes to Mulder, plays it behind the goal. Tyler Anderson trying to battle there with Odeline. Giroux as well. Here's Mulder looking in front, shots put wide of the goal by Pernitsky. In behind the goal, Odeline playing it over to the far side. Manier can't get there. Mulder has control, and Anderson pins him. Here's Giroux in behind the net. Giroux, jam play, poked away by Greenfield. Puck to back to the net. Penalty coming as there's an interference, and now Mulder's going after Yuremko in front. But Yuremko's got to relax here as Mulder's going to take the call. There is goaltender interference on it as well. And it'll be, that's the penalty. It'll be two minutes for a goaltender interference and two minutes for cross-checking. So it'll be a four-minute penalty to the Bobcats late to Mulder. Tigliano lost control of it, and it goes back. 45 seconds left in this one as the West Kelowna Warriors are about to win their first national championship and complete the first ever trifecta of winning the Fred Page Cup, the Western Canada Cup, and the Royal Bank Cup all in a single season. As there's 37.4 on the clock and a neutral zone face off for Blackburn. One back by the Warriors. Hope to Yeremko. Back now for Blumenshine as he will go and stop up behind the net. Blumenshine will look to send it around. Blumenshine will drop to the corner for Rylan Yeremko. 20 seconds left. Plays it back. Yeremko has it. Over to Blumenshine. The West Kelowna Warriors. Now Blumenshine still has it here in this one. The West Kelowna Warriors are your 2016 Royal Bank Cup national champions. Fans bring it home.